Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the one and only Silo Man coming direct from a launch control center of an Atlas F ICBM site outside Roswell, New Mexico, USA. For the next 25 minutes, I hope you enjoy yourself. Please sit back and relax. We're going to show you some of the pictures. We're just about finished up on this site. And then we're going to do a little work in the silo, so we're going to have a lot of fun in there. But this has been one of those projects that we've been roughly on 25, 24 years, I think, on this particular site. And so it's kind of a fulfilling that we're finally bringing it together and getting it done. Here's what you're looking at here, some of the tile that's going into the new shower inside the bathroom. There's the temporary kitchen that we have in what would, is finally going to be a utility area. Yeah, you, know, you can see our electrical panel there and then the panel coming in from the backup generator on the surface. Some of the areas that we sleep in, uh, we also have some uh, additional beds downstairs, clothes racks, things like that, televisions. We try to make it nice. This is going to be eventually the kitchen. We'll be moving this out. In fact, uh, the photographs that you're seeing right now are about three weeks old. So the bulk of this has already been finished. That's already been uh, the electrical done. It's all been sheetrocked. We're just we've taken the final measurements and we've come up with the the design in which we want for the kitchen cabinets. That area right there is the bathroom to the right of it utility room. There on the left, that, that's going to be either the office slash bedroom. It's interesting, I'm looking at all of this stuff here and it's no longer there. It's Most all of this has already been removed because we're getting to ready to just do the final sand on some of the dry, on some of the mud plaster on the walls and then start the floor finish the ceiling and um, prime the walls and get ready for color so you can see there is looking in from the office into the back area the difference being is we've just put up simple drywall where we're going to have some shelving some of the scraps of course again this is all gone now uh, this is going to be fairly well the last uh, pictures that you're going to be seeing uh, from right now starting tomorrow um, and that would be the 12th of, of uh, January you're going to start to see uh, we're going to start taking some live action video and then we're going to be incorporating it with some of the old operational photographs so you're going to get a real nice mix of how this all comes together I have perhaps one of the largest collection of ICBM, early first generation ICBM photographs in the country. Um, my website that I haven't worked on for quite a few years, SiloWorld.net, um, it has right now, gosh, what, over 20,000 photographs and documents relating to first generation ICBM sites. So we'll be resurrecting it again. So I have a lot more time now. So. It makes it kind of nice. So you're going to be seeing a lot of this occur right right from the site itself. We just finished bringing in uh, underground. We have uh, complete cellular boosters so we can receive all of our phone calls, all of our internet. Uh, everything now is completely taken care of underground. This is part of that little utility room. What you're not seeing is it's going to have a louver door on it. Right now we're using it for uh, to cut some of the tile. We have that particular cutter and then we have the a regular one that you set it on a base that has water in it. That's the original handrail. There's part of the manifold for the plumbing. Uh, I talked about it in the last video. You can see the louver door that's up and you can also see the, uh, the hot water on demand electric unit there on the left. There's also going to be a, a water tank, hot water tank. And why I'm doing this is we're going to run the solar from up on the surface down into it to let the sun just simply heat them. Uh, the sun, you know, charges the electrical panels and then at that point I mean, we're going to have it just to offset the, going to the heating elements, giving us some hot water there. We've got so many sun days in the Roswell area, it's, it's just truly beautiful for solar. You can see some of the stuff on the floor there. 
That's what the louver doors are gonna look like. They come out really nice. I was impressed. Some of the tools. Of course, all of this is now, well, some of it is still there, but one, one problem is, is when you're working in one geographical area, then you're always moving it. You're always, it's, it just seems it's never ending, so. But it's very, very fulfilling. She's finally coming together. There's really nothing tough about this. Uh, I know some people think, oh my gosh, there's so much work, there's so much this, and I don't really believe that's true. I mean, cleanup can get a little old because you're you're typically only have to have two ways to get out of a missile base, and that is, you know, you're going to take it up through the entryway, or you're going to take it out through the escape shaft. You know, one or two ways. It does make it a little tougher, but I don't know, it's still manageable. See the finished sheet rock finished putting up the tile there in the bathroom. This really come out well. It was the first time we, we really worked with this kind of tile. And we just love it. Instead of just doing a complete box or a rectangle for the little insert there on the wall, we decided to put a slight arch on top. It was a lot of fun doing that. And there you're looking back at the center column. Um, we just haven't decided what we want to do to design it. We'd like to make it something that's, that's truly the focal point of the area. Well, we just haven't decided yet. And of course, you know, TV and whatnot, DVDs. There again is the electrical, which we'll be tapping into. And, uh, <clears throat> I've already started wiring in some of the circuits. We'll make it all pretty. And you can see some more area from our temporary kitchen. It made it nice for us. You know, of course, you've got a skillet, you've got a hot plate, double hot plate, you've got a microwave. You know, you've got a. We got a couple. We got one smaller refrigerator, and we have this larger refrigerator, and it just makes it pretty easy for us. You have all. You don't have maybe everything you do at home, but you've got. You're pretty close. And that's the back that's the back area behind the petitions. <clears throat> you can see there is the original handrail that went around the upper level of what, what we call the, the steel launch control center crib. And we're still working on it on the shower. And we're going to be taking that all the way up to the ceiling. Moisture proof on the drywall. Then we're getting ready to put down the tile for the on the bottom of the shower. Then that will that will come out and then also be what the floor is. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna have sliding glass glass doors here. 
for this. We're just waiting until it's all finished and we'll order that in, put it in. See there, it's coming out really nice. Or did, I should say. Probably uh, by next weekend, I'm going to try to do a minimum of one to two videos a week. And again, please bear with me because we're going to go to the video format. Still have some of the photographs though, but <clears throat> it's only because my collection is so large of the first generation operational photographs. On the last bit of grouting. Clean up. This bathroom, that shower just really came out well. <clears throat> Those beds are all gone now because we're doing the final prep on the walls, on the plaster. At that point, we're gonna come back in, and I'm sorry I don't have any shots of the ceiling, what we've done, we've got it all prepped that we're going to come back in. We're gonna be doing some track lighting uh, on the ceiling, based on the layout that we've got thus far. But we'll be showing you that probably next week. going to get pretty exciting here. We've got another project coming up on another one of the Roswell sites. Now this one has the silo doors are open so it's going to be quite exciting. Uh, I did the cleanup on that site about 15 years ago. <clears throat> so now it's going to be time that we put it all together. It's been a lot of fun going down in the silo. So we're going to kind of switch gears here and show you all uh, from the basic very very bare bone situation bringing you up through it uh, you saw some of it on the earlier videos that were taken of this on my channel of course there's no sound I hope to redo those to make it a little more interesting for you and, uh, but at least you get the general idea both interior and exterior how it what the breakdown is what went what you went about and how it worked Just love these wood doors. Just love them. I've got the floor in place. Vanity's been ordered. And we've got a 48 inch vanity coming. And you can see we're sheetrocking the utility room now. Utility sink. Well, a little close to the center, maybe a little to the left of center. And then there'll be stacker, stackable washer and dryer on the right-hand side. And then, of course, the kitchen, too. Where you're going to see here in the next few uh, photographs that we start to finish the electrical on it and start the sheetrocking. We've got the final laid out. They've ordered the cabinets. Okay. 
this is from my camera. I really I don't I remind my phone. I really don't care for these shots. I, I need to increase the resolution. But at least it'll give you a little bit uh, different look at what's going on. This was when we were just simply starting the bathroom itself. Also the Dura Rock, you know, was being placed in the shower area. Before we moved the toilet to sheetrock the walls. You can see it's coming in there at that point. We've got the moisture proof sheetrock going up. Again, that's looking out from the bathroom towards the column, center of the room. Here's the lever doors that we put up on those. That would be for the area where we have the plumbing. I just really like those lever doors. They really come out well. That's the other side. It will also be heavy. We're just finishing up at this point around the doorway itself. <coughs> then we'll put the door, the louver door on it. Being a bifold door, it really makes it nice. But again, storage in these units are is so very, very difficult. So you want to really build it into it. That would be my main thing of telling anyone interested in a first generation ICBM site is especially Atlas F, you're going to be wanting to look at storage. And we got the mud and tape going on in the bathroom. Got the toilet back in place. And we got the mortar down, huh? you know, of course we put the, the vinyl down first and then we did the mortar, mortar base. We didn't, we, we chose not to go with a, with a prefab uh, base. Really enjoyed building that indentation uh, to that shower. Most just put it in as a square or a rectangle and we chose to put it in with a little arch on top. So it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. <clears throat> Again, amazing material to work with. This was the first time we've worked with this kind of material for this shower, and it was just, oh wow, it's a breeze. good. We're thinking at this particular point, we're going to be about one more month, maybe four weeks. Manny's finishing up with the bench at this point.
and some of the final cuts. Putting down the final tile on the floor. Putting down there, we had to pull the toilet. Some of the area left. And we'll just work our way backwards right out the door. And she came out really, really nice. See here, that's the, the kitchen. We just finished the sheetrock on it. Wired it earlier in the day where we wanted the outlets to go. And at that point we went in and we we're gonna start the mud and tape. And we got one wall to remain. And see where the drain, you can see where the sink base is gonna be set there. This one's gonna be a little different. We've got two angles coming in and so it should be interesting to see how all of this works out. And we've got that side. Well, at this point, I'd like to thank you. If you would, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know, hit that bell and also uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it. We hope to have quite a few more of these coming. Uh, like I said, tomorrow, please bear with us. This is video work is all new to me, so we're going to try to do it and do a good job for you all. But hope you enjoy this. Hope you enjoy some of the history that you're going to start to be seeing on the Atlas F sites in first generation for that matter. Again, thank you so very much for watching and your time. Appreciate it. Have a great evening. We'll see you soon.